Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Vegas Casino's I earnings boost post Tropicana and Mirage closures, Ford gears up to rival GM, and Rivian's quest for AI premium. We delve into the lucrative gross profits of Medicare Advantage and the $125 million windfall for Discovery investors amid merger suit. Google's carbon footprint surges with AI, while notable analysts call Spotlight NVIDIA, Spirit Airlines, and PayPal. Real estate stocks stumble as sector sentiment wavers, plus TD Bank's compliance chief exits amid U.S. probes. Stay tuned after this short ad break to unpack these headlines further. The shutting down of Tropicana Las Vegas along with the Mirage Hotel and Casino, which results in a 4.9% decrease in total room availability, could potentially enhance profits for other businesses operating on the Las Vegas Strip. Companies like MGM Resorts International and Caesars Entertainment might see particular gains until Hard Rock International reopens the previous Mirage location in 2027. Despite the prevailing economic instability, market experts forecast consistent growth due to increasing room prices and robust consumer expenditure. Barron's has proposed that Ford Motor may be able to narrow its performance deficit with General Motors, even though it has not performed as well this year. The transformation could hinge on capital discipline, expected special dividends, reduced expenditure on electric vehicles or EVs, and an emphasis on quality. Nevertheless, some market analysts recommend retaining Ford stocks due to a static U.S. market. Volkswagen, along with electric vehicle manufacturer Rivian Automotive, have declared a collaboration, igniting enthusiasm in the industry. Experts indicate that this alliance may result in strategic shifts, possibly unveiling fresh prospects. Volkswagen's investment of $5 billion is perceived as an endorsement of Rivian's software proficiency and autonomous design. The shared enterprise aims to expedite software advancement, reduce expenses per automobile, and introduce new technology-infused vehicles within this decade. Last year, the Medicare Advantage market experienced the highest gross margins within the health insurance industry, as reported by healthcare policy organization KFF. Private insurers involved in this federally funded program achieved a gross margin of $1,982 per member. On the other hand, Medicaid registered the lowest with $753 per enrollee. Despite a recent surge in medical care demand among Medicare enrollees, these margins have remained consistent when compared to 2022. Former investors in Discovery Incorporated are due to receive a settlement of $125 million. This comes after a lawsuit was filed, alleging that improper payouts were made, exceeding $1 billion during the merger with at and T's Warner Media in 2022. The settlement is still awaiting final approval and brings to an end almost two years of litigation. This legal action was initiated by pension funds which held shares in Discovery prior to the merger. Google has seen a near 50% increase in carbon emissions over the last five years. This is primarily due to the heightened energy use from data centers and supply chain emissions, which are propelled by artificial intelligence systems. This spike poses a risk to Google's objective of reaching net zero emissions by the year 2030. It is anticipated that there will be a significant rise in electricity demand, with AI data centers alone set to contribute greatly to this increase. Other technology giants, such as Microsoft, are also reporting growing emissions as a result of AI requirements. The Standard & Poor's 500, along with the Nasdaq, experienced increases in the previous week. This was supported by new economic figures and statements made by Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chair. There were notable decisions made by analysts such as Raymond James downgrading Spirit Airlines and Frontier Group Holdings. New Street Research also downgraded NVIDIA while Citi did the same for home builders Leonard and D.R. Horton. RBC lowered their rating for NextEra Energy Partners as well. On a positive note, Atlassian and PayPal received upgrades. Meta platforms had varied feedback from Raymond James and Needham. In other significant moves, Adobe was added to Mizuho's top picks list while Tesla found its place on Wells Fargo's Q3 tactical ideas list. 
In the latter half of 2024, despite a hopeful outlook on potential rate reductions, major real estate stocks experienced a minor weekly decline due to sector-related worries. The S&P 500 saw an increase of 1.95 percent, bolstered by labor market data that supported cuts in the Federal Reserve interest rate. Nevertheless, commercial real estate is still grappling with escalating debt delinquency rates and plummeting property values. Home construction companies Lenner and D. Or Horton received downgrades from Citi as a result of weakening housing activity. Concurrently, mortgage applications also fell due to rising rates. Monica Koval, the chief compliance officer of Toronto Dominion Bank, has departed in the wake of U.S. probes into the bank's anti-money laundering safeguards. Aaron Morrow, deputy chief compliance officer, is set to assume her position. The bank has recently dismissed a number of employees and allocated $365 million towards rectifying deficiencies in its anti-money laundering protocols. And that's a wrap on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Keep investing in your knowledge, folks. Until next time, stay informed and stay profitable. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great rest of your day or night. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.